while everything around me is transformed. Cały czas nie dają mi do spokoju te gazety. Vanguard letter. I'm afraid the it's the note I found on the door to the apartment. Jak jeszcze sobie próbuję się z tym skontaktować, gdzie się podziewa, zaczynam się ciebie martwić, Chris. Jest to dobrze. Przejdź do redakcji gazety. Tam teraz mieszkamy. Who could Sarah be? And this. Hmm. Zomp. Nie wiem co z zombem zrobić. Może się przyda. Mam pewien patent. Jeśli to TNT, to jest nazwa gazety. Może jakąś tam znajdziemy. These stains mark. Now I can say I've made my mark. These stains mark the spot where that bloated. Now I. Nie wiem, nie jestem pewien, czy była tam jakaś gazeta tego z, z tym tytułem. <coughs> TNT, to będzie... Sandy Ridge Sentinel, that's the name of this newspaper. PRS. M-N-O-P-R-S-S-T, to tutaj musi być. First, I'll put the new... As much as I... Sandy Ridge Sentinel. Hmm, chyba nie. Village Green Preservation Society. Yeah. Yellow Town Scribe. One of the many. M N O. Keystone Central. The T N T. Objective Wanderer. The paper and pen. One of the many newspapers. Pen. Cottage Times Register. No, na pewno musiałaby być w jakimś innym miejscu. Fairview Vanguard. One. Greater City Horizon. The title of the Horizon. Keystone Central. M N O P R S T O. Union Country Messenger. That's the name of this newspaper. Solstice Times. The title of this publication appears in the front page. Today progress. One of the many news. Yeah, pierdli kam te gazety jest masak, a czy nie dużo tutaj? The new truth. Oh. First, I'll put the newspaper I took back in its place. As much as I might like my old photos, I have no intention of carrying around any more paper than necessary. Jest inna, jak widać. The new truth. Zobaczymy z tym światem niezwykłe widowisko. It looks like a decent publication, even though it was produced in a shoestring budget. The address of the office is at the bottom of the first page, and the article on the front page is under the byline of one Chris Blundstone. Chris Blundstone, no. Chris, chciał się ze mną spotkać i mnie szukał. The address and the article. To idź weź sobie. It seems like a good idea, but the GPS signal is very weak in here. I think it would be better to use it in an open area rather than indoors. Tak, poszedłem załatwić swoje sprawy i zacząłem kombinować. Idziemy stąd. I think I hear noise from the other side of that people. But I'm not sure. Damn it. Being in this place is starting to make me feel a little bit paranoid. Mhm. Wyrzucisz to? Dzięki. The front door, despite the surveillance. Let's try it today. Of course, the letters T and T on the letterhead of Sarah and Chris's note stand for the newspaper. The new truth. I'll enter the address of the newspaper office shown on the front page. The map indicates a place near the main avenue of the city. Will it still be standing? Let's go find out. O, stare i nowe prawdy. Good God, Michael, is that you? There's no question about it. That's the person I saw in my vision. 
The person mentioned in the note I found in my house. What was his name? Hello, Chris. Come in quickly. It's dangerous to be out on the streets at this hour. Michael, I'm so glad to see you again. After all that time without hearing from you, Sarah and I feared the worst. But tell me, why didn't you come sooner? Where have you been all this time? From his enthusiastic welcome, it looks like this man and I were good friends in the past. Before the entire world collapsed. But can I trust him? Do I have any other choice? It's a long story, Chris. Very long. <laughs> I'm all ears, old friend. And while I tell him everything I can remember, the few things in my memory since waking up in Rod's trailer, I see a mixture of tenderness and compassion on his face. Something I haven't seen in anyone else since waking up in this hellhole. I haven't the slightest doubt. I can trust this man. Maga? I'm sorry for everything that happened, Michael. Sarah and I had been trying to get in touch with you for a long time. But the great wave made it impossible to find you. Now I know why. As a matter of fact, she went out to take that note to your house. I haven't seen her since. Tell me, did you find Sarah? Did she tell you she was coming here? Sarah? I'm sorry, but I don't... I just found this handwritten note in the door. That's all. Of course, forgive me. You already told me that you were blanked. You don't remember her. Sarah is my wife. Emily and she were close friends. In fact, they ran the Beechwood Oracle bookstore together, right below your apartment. That's how you started working with us at the New Truth. And the two of you, Emily and you, became like family to us. I want you to know that what happened to Emily affected us deeply, Michael. Sarah was devastated. We could hardly bring ourselves to speak to you at the time. I'm so sorry for what happened to her. What the hell are you talking about? Good God. Don't tell me you don't remember that either. Emily died, Michael. But that's impossible. I'm sorry to be the one to make you relive that hell. You yourself told Sarah and me on the phone a little while before you returned home. It happened while the two of you were in Japan, scarcely a few days before the great wave hit. At the paper, we sent you on an assignment to do a photo essay on those strange lights that had been sighted in the sky over Tokyo. Huh. So you got all your photography equipment together and set off right away. Emily went with you. You two decided to use the trip as a chance to work on your marriage, which had been in trouble for a long time. You were in bad shape, Michael. Your financial problems, her miscarriages, your violent, self-destructive nature. No, let's just amuse me playing this. You were putting her through too much back then. Things are not going well between us, Michael. You know that. It's only a rough patch. You'll see. It's all your fault. You have to get on top of this, Michael. It's destroying both of us. Like I told you, Hunter, just a little bit of a mind touch. If you catch us without baggage. From what you told us, things were getting better. After so many years, both of you were starting to rediscover each other. Everything will be different. Remember that vacation we took to the beach when we were getting to know each other? Everything will go back to the way it was. Promise me. I promise. Until one night in your hotel, Emily started to feel sick. It all happened very fast. She was having fainting spells, vomiting, running a fever. You took her to the nearest hospital, where she was admitted immediately. Emily, what's happening? Emily, Emily. Do not go on, Scott. And a few hours later, they told you she was dead. They wouldn't even let you see her body. They wouldn't let you see her. The Japanese authorities hustled you off on the next plane out. It was all very strange and disconcerting. At the very night you arrived, the great wave hit. Oh, Emily. Now I remember it. I remember everything. I remember her pale, haggard face when she took my hand. Don't worry. It's nothing. Everything will be all right, she was saying, while they were wheeling her deep into the hospital. And she waved goodbye to me, forcing a smile to cover her fear. And then I saw it. I swear I could see how time was stopping, little by little, in her eyes. 
Emily can't be dead. I... She talks to me. I've been hearing her voice for some time now. You must think I've lost my mind. From the little we were able to talk to you before you got back, we could see that her death hit you terribly hard, Michael. You felt extremely guilty for the way you treated her those last few years. You said you would never be able to forgive yourself. It's possible that the pain warped your mind, but it's also possible that what is happening to you is real. If Emily died before the Great Wave, how can what's happening to me be real? Let me tell you something. In spite of the catastrophe, at the new truth, we've never stopped working. For Sarah and for me, this newspaper is our life. And since the Great Wave, our contacts and confidential sources haven't stopped bringing us the most incredible and chilling information you could imagine. Thousands, no millions of unexplained phenomena are taking place simultaneously all over the world, Michael. We're living through the strangest and most confusing times in our history. And any hypothesis, no matter how crazy, must be taken into consideration. Even what you just told me. There's no question that something extraordinary is happening all over the world because of the Great Wave, the emergence of the Dissolved, and our gradual approach to the Dead Synchronicity Point. Yes, the Great Wave. People have been telling me about it since the moment I woke up. Everyone talks about it, but no one really knows what it is. Did you know that the catastrophe didn't just strike here, but all over the world? They keep us isolated and misinformed. But that's the truth. The Great Wave didn't just destroy this city. It affected the entire planet. And the most surprising thing is that it all happened simultaneously at the exact same moment everywhere on Earth. Isn't that amazing? There's never been an official account of the catastrophe. They don't want to tell us, but at the new truth, we know a lot of things they don't want us to know. They? Who are they? The elite, the army, the shadow government, whoever is in control at any particular moment. They're determined to maintain the power structures of the old world by any means. The irony is, for the moment, any notion of order or control is absurd. The rules of the game have changed completely, and the entire world is slipping through their fingers. They're disoriented and frightened, and they'll do anything to prop up the old system. That's what makes them yeah? so dangerous. But information weakens them, makes them vulnerable. And that's why we have to keep investigating, Michael. It's our duty to uncover the truth. The dissolved. That horrible disease. Yes, the fate of those poor devils. That's the cruelest and saddest part of this story. From reliable sources, we've been able to find out that while it is true the Great Wave multiplied the number of dissolved drastically, a few early cases of dissolution were actually detected hours, even days, before the catastrophe. Mm. What? There were cases of the dissolved before the Great Wave? Yes, Michael. Just a handful of victims scattered across the globe. But the timing is significant. What's more, people have told us shocking stories about those victims. I could tell you one. Colin, the only child of the family that took care of me in the refugee camp, is a dissolved. Just a few hours ago, in a deep trance, he shouted out my name, insisting that he needed to talk to me. He kept saying that he wanted to give me a message, a message from Emily. Good God, Michael. And what was that message? I don't know. I haven't had a chance to talk to him, but I will. His condition is very serious, and I have to hurry. If only we had more information about the disease, what it is, where it came from. If only we knew a little bit more about those strange underground highways they talk about so much during their trances. We need more information. At the New Truth, all we have are a few eyewitness reports here and there, and a handful of tests for detecting the disease that we were able to steal from one of the cleanup brigades. And that's not very much when you're trying to put together a puzzle as obscure and complicated as this one. Dead synchronicity. What's that? It's very difficult to explain, Michael. We're still so short of information. But I will tell you one thing. Time is running out. The Great Wave triggered a landslide of death and destruction that's accelerating by the day. And the end will be absolutely devastating. Look around you, Chris. 
It's impossible for the situation to get worse. Mm, if the theory about the approach of the dead synchronicity point is true, the future that awaits us will make everything we've seen up to now seem like a walk in the park, Michael. The arrival of the dead synchronicity point will mean the end of the world as we know it. The end of the laws of nature, the laws of physics, the very meaning of existence. And with them, of course, the end of the human species on the face of the Earth. Our inability to adapt will wipe us out in a matter of minutes. And indeed, in some cases, it's already happening. The good news is that if this hypothesis is correct, the very nature of this anomaly could also allow us to reverse the situation. Reverse the situation? You mean avoid the future you're talking about? Avoid the consequences of the Great Wave? Is that possible? Of course it is. How can I explain it to you? No, not yet. It would be too complex for you to understand, and I don't want to create any false hope. Uh, I can't tell you anything more for the time being. We need more information, more sources, and we need them urgently. Time is running out, in every sense of the word. I need answers too, Chris. Where can I find the information you need? How can I help you? A few days ago, one of our confidential sources in the army contacted the new truth. He told us he had a bombshell in his hands, an official report of the results of all the investigations conducted to date on the Great Wave, the Dissolved, and the Dead Synchronicity Point. It's a real gold mine, Michael. The answer to our prayers. And where is that report now? The same day she left the note at your house, Sarah was supposed to meet our source at the same place we always meet people who cooperate with the new truth, which had been the safest place in the city up to that point, the sewers. But she never came back, Michael. I was hoping she'd found you, or perhaps some problem had come up in the sewers, and she'd taken refuge in your apartment. Don't worry, Chris. Sarah will be fine. Uh -huh. Yes, I know. Sarah is a strong woman and very resourceful. I know she can take care of herself. If you want to help us, Michael, get us that report. I'm trapped in this basement in this wheelchair, but I know that you'll be able to get it for me. It's vitally important that we get it. That's where we'll find the answers to all our questions. Even answers about Emily and her messages. Follow the trail of Sarah and our source. Go down into the sewers and find some clue that can lead us to them. But be very careful down there. It's dangerous. Dangerous? You just told me the sewers were the safest place in the city. Indeed they were. That's why they became the perfect hiding place for the dissolved and their families. For some time now, the army has been reinforcing its dragnets for catching the dissolved hiding in the sewers. If they find you in one of those tunnels, they'll shoot first and ask questions later. I'll be fine. Take this. You'll need something to guide you. No, Jenki. Właśnie o to chodziło. Labyrinth. I've marked the exact spot where the meeting was supposed to take place. It's a huge subterranean gallery where several pipes converge. Michael, please bring me that report. And for the love of God, bring Sarah back to me safe and sound. I'll do it. <sighs> it's a map with handwritten notes describing how to get to Sarah's without this. Walking. Uh, impossible. The GPS map only there are no okay, indicators. Okay. Okay. What's a zomp? I don't think doing this. The entire basement. You can even find the Sarah and Chris. Locked with a key. I'm afraid that Chris doesn't trust and the way things turned out after Chris, I need you. I won't. Covered with scrawled notes. I get the impression that Chris lives. I feel like I've been wandering around this new world, but I can't stop to rest now. A beat up arm, but it looks ex Dozens of documents and newspaper clipping. Looking at the topics of all this. While I can't remember her clearly. Looking at this photograph, I'm sure Sarah and I. The walls and arches in this basement look as thick as in a cathedral. I suppose that this explains how the new truth office is still in such good condition.
Potrzebuję film do, do Polaroida. Pewnie jest tutaj. Locked with a key. And the width. Tak myślałem. E, kanały. Tutaj trzeba skoczyć. Here goes. I'll use the map Chris gave me as a guide. These tunnels. Oczywiście nie będę chodził. This is the place uh, marked huh. on the map. The place where Sarah and her confidential. They wouldn't be of any use to me. They wouldn't be of any use to me. They gleam like gold nuggets. Olymp these empty. There's a very familiar sound coming from the depths of the tunnel behind this grate. It's a subway train. I don't get it. If they boarded up the subway stops and shut down the subway service, what the devil are those trains carrying? And where are they going? I bet it would be easier to try to slim down enough to fit through these bars. The bars are incredibly thick. I don't see how I can... I'm glad I have it with me. The underground Laguna. river I ever thought I could. This is where that river of filth there's something happening. I've been able to remove some of the waste, but I won't be able to remove the rest of it with my hands. This stuff is too snarled up. Let's see what the devil is so tangled up in here. What's it? My God, Sarah! A bullet's torn off her jaw, but her face is still recognizable. Poor Chris. How am I going to break this to him? Doing something like that would not. But above all. One bullet hit her in the jaw, and another went through part of her. There's no doubt that Sarah bled to death while using the last of her strength, trying to drag herself out of here. A flash drive. It's sticking out of the corpse's clenched fist. Sarah is... Oh my God. After being exposed, Sarah's remains look positively... A gdyby jak wrzucić ją do worka? This corpse deserves a decent burial. They wouldn't be of any use to me. These. It's chilling to see it barely able to keep afloat in the raw sewage, especially when I can guess who the owner of that shoe was. A gdyby tak? First, I'd need a proper hook for this fishing rod. Even so, I don't quite see why I'd want. I don't think it would do any good to connect the wire to this. Better not. That would be a waste of time. <laughs> I don't think it would do. Any... I wouldn't be able to reach it from here. I don't think there's anything. Why would I want to do something? First, I'd need a proper hook for this fishing rod. Even so, they wouldn't be of any use. Use this here. The lights are broken and burnt out. I'm not going to waste. How could I use these two eyes besides wearing it? That wouldn't serve me. Duck. Yeah, good job, bitch. Need a proper hook for this. Even so. The computer, I guess, repairing them. No. Computers are a deplorable waste of time. When the heart better not. That would be a waste of time. Co kupić? Kupić? Co kupić? Co? Telewizor? Dobrze. Oj, przepraszam.
Hello, Chris. Michael, you're back already? Tell me, did you, find did you bring the report she went out to get? I brought the report. Here it is. Oh, that's great news. I knew you could do it. Ah, oh, damn it. I should have guessed. I was expecting a paper dossier, not an electronic document. We have a serious problem, Michael. Problem? What's wrong? We're not in the no, old a... world anymore. And access to electricity is a privilege very few people have nowadays. Now, the good news is that I was able to save my old laptop from the great wave. Ale nie mamy prądu. The bad news is that we don't have anywhere to plug it in. What can we do? If we want to find out the secrets in this report, we need electricity. Bring me a generator with enough fuel and we'll find all the answers we need, Michael. But tell me, please, did you find Sarah? Niestety tak. Why didn't she come back with you? What happened? I'm sorry, Chris. Sarah's dead. G God. But what? It looks like she and your confidential source were ambushed and shot by soldiers in the sewers. I found Sarah's body in one of the graded tunnels near the refugee camp. I took the report out of her hands, but I had to leave her there. Oh my poor Sarah. She. No, współczuję mu, ale zasługuje naprawdę. Don't leave her body to rot in the sewers. I beg of you. Do it for me, for Sarah. For Emily, I'll do what I can, Chris. I promise you. Now, get me that electric generator. Time is running out. What do we have here? <laughs> As one would expect, there are only old magazines, stacks of paper, and outdated printing supplies here. No, wait a minute. It looks like there's also film prints and cameras here. Now that I've taken all code. Hello, Chris. Michael. No, I. If we want to find out the. Bring me the generator. I'll do it. But hurry. Perfect. Now I can load the camera. Ah, oh, the tab that closes the film compartment is broken. I can't use it like this. I need something to hold it in place, or else the film will keep falling out. Zump. I can't <laughs> believe it. The tooth fragment fits perfectly into the slot for the broken tab. Now I can close the film compartment. Dobra. <laughs> to już wiemy po co ten. Before leaving his house, I shoot a furtive glance at Chris. He's gazing in Sarah's photo in silence, completely lost in thought. Maybe I should have lied about what happened to her. Told him that she got away, leaving the report behind, that she's safe and sound, and just waiting for the right it. moment to come back. The truth is a poisonous inheritance from the old world. What good does it do to know it if it snatches away your last hope? Szybciej się tak przemieszcza. A kurczę, to wyłączone. Great. The circuit breaker I activated is tripped, and it's the only one that seems to work. It'll probably only hold for a little while. Let's take a look. Perfect. A shot of the my first for time. In fact, I coś mam jeszcze sprawdzić. A metal crowbar against seems. Dobra, zdjęcie dla Huntera. 
I've brought what we agreed. Here's a photograph of the fuel depot. Fantastic, Mike. Let's see what you've got there. This is incredible. Those pigs have been storing thousands of gallons of fuel, and all within our reach. With your ID, all we have to do is go into the compound, say hello, boys, and bring it all back here. You've just made me very, very happy, dude. I knew I wasn't wrong about you. Now you have to hold up your end of the bargain. Yes, of course I will, Mike. You know I'm a man of my word. Besides, these are hard times, and we have to help one another, dude. I'll get Rod and his wife out of their trailer, so you can have a little time alone with the boy. Nie, you have my word and my complete discretion. Mm -hmm, But remember that you promised that we'd do it my way, quietly and with no violence. I don't want anybody getting hurt. I just need your men to distract his parents on some pretext for long enough for me to slip in there. Okay? Of course, Mike. You have my word that we'll only do what's necessary. Only what's strictly necessary. Give me a few minutes and then go to the trailer. Everything will be fine when you get there. Okay, but before I go, can I ask you for something else? Today you've been the bearer of the best possible news, dude. So shoot, I'll see what I can do. Some soldiers murdered a friend of mine in the sewers. I need you to take care of her body. Well, well, well. Murdered in the sewers. And what the hell was your friend doing there? Wait, don't answer. I've heard about that custom among some relatives of the sick. It means she was hiding a dissolved in the sewers. Or am I mistaken? Yes, you're absolutely... I'm not going to tell you what she was doing there. To changing things in the shithole left behind by the great wave. Where you move around. You'd be incapable of understanding it. You couldn't even imagine making a sacrifice like that. Even I have a hard time imagining it. It's none of your business. Listen, Mike, you know what I think of those disease carriers and of the people who hide them. For everyone's sake, they all belong in... But you know what? Your intentions are good. Giving a friend a decent burial. You're loyal to your friends, and I like that. Above all, you've got to be... Faithful. Loyalty. So, consider it done. I'll take care of it, dude. Her body is in the sewer tunnel that comes out by the entrance to the camp. Your friend will have a decent resting place. I give you my word. No, dobra. Eee, hmm. A czy Hunter ma obydwa buty? Dajmy sobie to pytanie. Możliwe, że morderca zgubił but. I need an electric generator urgently. Hey, hey, dude, calm down. I think you misinterpreted my offer. Since the great wave, a generator has become worth more than the lives of a hundred people in this camp. Don't think I couldn't get you one. But the price will be so high that I can't imagine how you'd be able to pay me. I'm sorry, Mike. But I just gave you access to thousands of gallons of fuel. But those barrels aren't walking out of that place on their own. My men and I are going to have to risk our hides by going into the lion's den. I'm sorry, but the matter is closed. You should be going now. I've got to get the trailer sorted out. Give me a few minutes and then you can go there, okay? <laughs> Adios, dude. Violent and more violent. Mm. Wait a minute. What's that noise? Why is everyone fleeing? What's going on? The cleanup brigades are coming. And they're heading for Rod's trailer. God damn it! The hunters turned them in! That animal turns Colin and his family in! 